It's the last days for physical media at Best Buy. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Okay guys, here we are entering our last days of uh, Best Buy at the physical media section. And this is what I am going for today, which is the American Graffiti 4K. There's plenty of copies. And there's even a few copies of the Steelbook, which is like pretty ugly. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna get the Steelbook. I wanted to get both, um, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna get this one copy um, with a slip cover. And I, I heard bad reviews about it. We'll talk about it later. I'm definitely gonna buy it. I'm not gonna let those bad view, reviews uh, deter me from buying it. Um, so let's just check out uh, what else we got going on here. Now, I didn't. I, I do have a Scarface on Blu-ray. For some reason, this is just like popping into my mind. Um, so I'm gonna like rewatch this when I get home. I've seen it plenty of times, but for some reason, Scarface is like popping into my mind. Um, for some odd reason. And I did see Gran Turismo in the movie theater. I thought this was like pretty good. It was like a generic type of thing. Like you know what's gonna happen, but I enjoyed it. And also Ginger Spice is in there. <laughs> for all you Spice Girls fans. Uh, she plays like this guy's um, mother. Okay, and then I didn't check this one out, uh, The Nun 2. This one was a quick um, release theater to Blu-ray. You know, that's how most of them are gonna be now. Less than three months, I think. You know, two months ago that came out. I don't know. Here is Snow White, Blanca Nieve, in a, a 4K. Uh, I don't know about that cover. It looks weird from here. But, I, you know, I have all these on Blu-ray. I'm not going to double dip or none of that. Here we have a 4K, I think a 4K of Loki, the complete first season. Never seen one episode. Don't have Disney+. Plus. And then those are those ugly Disney um covers that they can't get rid of I, I didn't know this was coming out Matilda on 4k um, I did finally like see this uh, uh, recently um, pretty good movie you know from uh, Roald Dahl the writer of the witches and then um, what is this a 4k a Super Mario a power-up edition uh, you know just like um, the flash saw it once good enough don't need to add it to the collection uh, here is the live action um, Little Mermaid. I think this is a Blu-ray right here. And then, um, this is, what is this? A, uh, 4K of Swamp Thing and MDV, MVD Rewind collection. Okay, and as you see here, we got the, um, we got the Steelbook to, uh, Natural Born Killers. So here's a, a, an exclusive Best Buy Steelbook packaging. Okay, and then here you got the, uh, the regular, uh, 4K edition. And this was a release from shop studios um and as you can see there is absolutely nothing here here we are in the last days of the best buy they're even uh, promoting elemental which came out a while ago but uh here we do have a um a 4k of screen 3 um with a digital code here is like uh, a pretty new release blue beetle uh was just added to um hbo max and here we have um, a steelbook of Equalizer 3 and of the Blob, a, an exclusive steelbook here. Um, I believe this is new. And here is what I really want, but I think this is going for like $35. So, but I mean, if this is like the last copy, then I'm kind of getting lucky here for one of my favorite horror films of the year. Um, definitely one of the best ones I've seen, which was Talk to Me. Here's a 4K. I think this is going for like $35. And um, the Blu-ray is 21, so I mean, let me just hang on to this in case, you know, I want to get it because, um, you know, I don't know when, when I'm going to uh, be able to pick up a movie in stores again. But here is a uh, an exclusive, I guess, a uh, special edition steelbook of Evil Dead Rise. Here, they're kind of tricking you here. They put the original classic from the visionary producers of the original classic. I thought this one was just, you know, all right. Okay, so these are Blu-rays of um, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. I'm definitely waiting for uh, the 4K. And then there is Jackie Brown uh, right behind it. Um, so, you know, these, just gonna leave these on the shelf. I already have these, don't need them. Okay, so since there's plenty of copies here, I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna move over to uh, the other side and see um, what else is going on here. Um, but I thought this one was pretty good. Like Megan, it wasn't bad for a PG-13. Um, I thought it was pretty uh, decent. 
Um, not a bad movie. Could, could have been worse, you know? Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing um, uh, Ferrari. Um, even though he had an attitude with um, some guy who was trying to question him about the effects and stuff like that. So here is the, the, the Christmas uh, selection, what's left of it, including the blackening. I did see this. Uh, I thought it was okay, you know. I thought it was all right. I think it's worth a watch. Um, you know, you'll shoot your eye out. Uh, now, I, I would love to add, you know, 1899 for all these, the five holiday favorites, you know, Rudolph, Frosty, Santa Claus coming down, Little Drummer Boy, and the cricket. I don't know about the cricket, but, you know, I, I would love to add that to the collection one day or something like this. Now, if this was like 1599, I would add it right away. The Peanuts Holiday Collection Deluxe Edition 4K, including, you know, Great Pumpkin, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So only three specials here. So, you know, you're considering $10 a special um $8.99 for a blu-ray of how the grinch stole christmas the jim carrey version not bad and then you know $13.99 for just a 4k standalone of a charlie brown christmas um like i say if i was gonna do that i, I need like a whole package and i want like a complete package I, just, I don't want three specials i want like 10 specials i want all of them okay once again you know i already have like the the steelbook of uh spider-verse Already the Blu-ray is going for $11.99, the 4K for $16.99. And, you know, I wanted to wait for, um, you know, American Graffiti to go down in price. But it's just like, if they're going to get rid of these movies, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. I don't care. I, I know it's going to change in price, but then it, it's like, I, I love this movie, you know, so I, I have to I have to get it. So here is a limited edition steelbook of The Little Mermaid. And as you can see, you know, that is pretty much it. Not a lot going on in here they are definitely phasing these out so i just wanted to make like a quick video my the, the last best buy video this is going to be it because um they're getting rid of this stuff so you might want to make it out here um to your local best buy to see if you could uh, grab anything uh you know you got Scrooge with a uh, slip cover here okay um, but unfortunately, Casino, no slipcover. I have a, a steelbook of that. You got some steelbooks, some not, you know. Uh, or I meant slipcovers, steelbooks, slipcovers. And I mean just slim pickings over here. So, um, and a Blu-ray of uh, Elemental. So, you know, if I am going to uh, get anything, it's going to be the uh, 4K Talk to Me. And the... Um, the 4k of american graffiti before we head out let's stop inside the target okay i decided to um stop at target just to see how their movie section um was looking and it is definitely on the slim side plenty of books and vinyls but the movies are lacking but we do have the 4k to barbie with a shiny slip cover and then i already forgot about this one Ruby Gilliam Teenage Kraken. This one kind of just came and went. I'm not too familiar with this one. Looks like it's uh, with Mel Gibson. Desperation Road and Willa Fitzgerald. And then you got the um, the Target Christmas collection going on here. Oh, it looks like this is like a dollar cheaper then at Best Buy but no slip got this Scream 6 movie collection a DVD for $45 are you insane and then Scream 6 here's a 4k what's gonna happen with Scream 7 huh what's gonna happen okay and then they got the um they got another shelf here a best sellers shelf this one i hated uh asteroid city good soundtrack good soundtrack with those like country songs um this one i thought was pretty good are you there god it's me margaret if you're in the mood for a good uh chick flick and um i never saw this one about my father you know that bad de niro movie with like the peacock they eat the peacock um got some avatar stuff and then sisu this one was okay I know that there was like a steel book of this or something. And um, that's about it. 
Okay, guys, we are back at the car for, from our short Best Buy trip. That was a very short video, but I wanted to come out for Black Friday. I know the deals weren't good, but I know that, uh, you know, Best Buy is ending their physical media, and I wanted to get American Graffiti, and I got it. Now, like I say, this has been getting really bad uh, reviews as far as the 4K, the transfer and quality, but I don't care. Like I care, but I don't because when it comes to that uh, DNR, Black Crush, this looks like, I like, I don't, I can never see that. So it's like for me, th does it look good? Does it sound good? Can I see it? Can I hear it? That's a pass. And plus this movie, American Graffiti, like I don't have the DVD, I don't have the Blu-ray. I saw it like much later in life. So if I come across the DVD at Goodwill or something, I would love to add it to the collection. But this was like my most highly anticipated 4K of the year. My one title, my one title of the year. And then, uh, you know, this came out at the beginning of the month and I heard it was getting really bad reviews and I'm like, oh no. But um, I went out and I grabbed it anyway and I'm, I'm glad that i got it because it has bonus features the Amer making of american graffiti stream test the feature commentary with director george lucas and the theatrical trailer stuff that you can't get on streaming so and this also comes with a digital code so like i say i'm very happy that i finally added it to the collection now whether it's a good or bad blu-ray presentation i don't know my one gripe about 4ks i said blu-ray i meant 4k my one gripe about 4 4ks is that they are darker than blu-rays and if you say that on blu-ray.com like oh this is dark they'll crucify you they'll kill you so it's like you can't say that it's dark and then somebody or whatever the, the experts on blu-ray.com they'll say you know it's it's the uh, detail the detail is so strong that it's capturing the darkness so it has to look extra dark f out of here that's my one gripe about 4Ks is that they seem to be darker than um, DVDs and Blu-rays, but that's just my gripe. I finally added it to the collection. This is George Lucas's second movie. Uh, I had to do a little research because I know it was THX 1138, which was his first. And there's a lot of references to the THX uh, 38, like it's um it's a license plate tag in that uh, that yellow hot rod so thx american graffiti and then he got into star wars so and uh my favorite movie of all time days and confused is heavily influenced by american graffiti so it's like the movie about nothing the last day of school uh driving around dancing listening to music uh, getting drunk all that good stuff so guys i'm gonna wrap up this video i added my one title to the collection uh for this black friday you know before best buy and also i couldn't price match I wanted to also buy Talk To Me. It was going for 24 on Amazon and 30 in stores and she told me I couldn't price match for the holiday season. And she doesn't know when the DVDs are phasing out. So I just bought one title, American Graffiti. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell, drop a comment down below if you bought any DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks during this holiday season and I will see you next time.